Right, I'm not sure how the audio is going to turn out on this video because I'm uh, I'm in my apartment in uh, in Las Palmas in Gran Canaria. So it's been a while since I made a video, and I thought I would just start by saying, obviously, I never planned it to be this way. I always thought that I'd be able to upload every single day, and uh, that I'd always have something to say. That's just not always the case, especially you know with travel and uh, other things getting in the way. But I have got a lot of plans for this channel. Uh, a lot of plans for content. Basically, let's just get right into it. So the video today is uh, and we're talking about how with nightmares, how you can turn them into lucid dreams. Now, don't misunderstand this. You can't always turn a, lucid, a nightmare sorry, into a lucid dream. But I'm going to sit down here. It's more comfortable. Oh, that's much more comfortable. There are some things you can do which almost guarantee that when you have a nightmare, or when you would have had a nightmare, you you will turn it into a lucid dream. And now this doesn't happen all the time. Okay, what usually happens is you'll have say if you you can lucid dream three to five times a week, right? You would you would be what uh, what I was classed as a experienced lucid dreamer, or you know, almost a, a master lucid dreamer. If you have three to five a week, you know that's quite a lot. So you're having three to five lucid dreams a week. But then one night you have a nightmare. Now that's not strange, that is to be expected. You know, sometimes I have nightmares. Uh, not usually these days, especially in the last sort of year or two, I've had hardly any nightmares. Uh, and the, what, the situations where I would have had a nightmare, you know, where I had a scary dream, it started to go wrong. I've been able to very quickly turn those situations round and turn it into a lucid dream, uh, which is obviously what most of us are aiming for. Because you know the goal, the goal is with this to be able to either never have a nightmare or to be able to turn a nightmare into a lucid dream once you realise it's a nightmare. Now I've been talking to uh, a few people about this recently, and I think the best way of describing it is this: I've got to the point now where I can, every time I notice a dangerous situation or a situation in, in waking life or in the dream where something negative is happening. You know, whether I'm in pain, whether I feel in danger or anything, anything bad, negative, right? Anytime I experience that situation, my gut reaction, my subconscious sort of knee jerk reaction that takes place is a reality check. I immediately, without questioning it, think, is this real? Am I dreaming? And by doing that, by, built, by having uh, built up that reaction, it means that almost every time I would have had a nightmare, I just have a lucid dream. Because once you get to the point where something like a nightmare can trigger a reality check, you will always have a lucid dream instead of a nightmare. Now that doesn't mean to say that I never have nightmares because sometimes I do. There are times when, an, I guess the most common one is where the nightmare isn't obviously scary at first. So I don't know if you've um, experienced these sorts of nightmares where you're, you're dreaming about something, right? Whether it's walking down the street, everything's fine, okay, you're walking on the pavement and then suddenly, right, your feet start to sink into the ground, you start to become stuck in the floor. Now that isn't a nightmare at first because uh, in the first instance you're just walking down the street, you're just walking normally, nothing is weird, it's just a normal dream. So your, your subconscious reaction is not, is this real, you know, is this a nightmare, am I dreaming? Your first reaction is just, I'm walking down the street, this is all fine. But then what happens is your feet get stuck. And unless you, unless you correct that, unless you find a way to carry on walking or escape that situation, it will turn into a nightmare. And you know, first thing, your feet are stuck and then you notice someone coming towards you, then you're being, maybe you're being chased or there's something falling on you or you're you know, in a different dream scene and it's a, a scarier situation. That is the most common occurrence of a nightmare. That and the nightmare where you find yourself in the middle of the situation. Okay, so there's two types of nightmares. The first one, it evolves from a normal dream, okay, like the one I just described. The second one, and this is probably the easiest one to turn into a lucid dream, the second one is where you find yourself in the middle of, uh, of some action, right? So you're, you just, the dream just, or the nightmare, I should say, just starts in the middle of the action. You're already doing it. Whether that's being chased, it, you're in a fight, whether that's, you know, you're experiencing pain or some sort of discomfort, whatever your nightmare looks like, if it, you know, one, one of the uh, two types of nightmares is you just start experiencing it. 
without any sort of warning, without any build up or development of the scene. Now that is the type of nightmare that you can turn very easily into a lucid dream because you can train yourself to think, right, every time I experience something negative, every time I ha feel pain or am uncomfortable, you ask yourself immediately, is it a dream? Am I dreaming? And that will link the, the trigger, in this case the, the nightmare, the scary situation, it will link that trigger with a reality check and that will make you become lucid. So yeah, I just I thought I'd make this video just to clear that up for a few people because uh, it can be confusing to understand how nightmares work uh, and, and it's specifically how you can turn them into a lucid dream because a lot of people do wonder that, uh, you know, myself included, I, I sometimes find myself wanting to be able to do that more because it's a very useful skill. You know, no one likes nightmares, let's be honest, but if you're able to to take a nightmare or a potential nightmare and turn it into a lucid dreaming experience, you know, that's it's a, it's a free lucid dream. You may as well do it. So that's it guys. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think of my new camera. This is not my usual camera. You've probably realized this is uh, a wide angle lens because this is a, uh, my travel camera that I've just got for my vlogs and things like that. Uh, you may remember me mentioning this a while ago, I think a few months ago. Uh, my travel channel is Transcend Travel. It's linked in the description and I think it's linked in my, if you go onto my channel you can see it on the sidebar as well. You're probably wondering why I'm even bothering to plug this because you want to learn about lucid dreaming. This is a travel channel. It doesn't matter. I, I think some of you guys might want to see my travel adventures. I definitely upload more on the other channel. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm completely rambling now. The video is good until he started talking about his other channel and his camera. Anyway, leave a, leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you next time.